Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with permanent magnet motors or magnetic motors and today we're speaking about the Kinski Z rotary to reciprocating device. Yeah, very often these devices which are not called free energy generators or or I don't know free energy devices or magnetic motors are called the reciprocate reciprocating devices because we are using the power of permanent magnets in a reciprocating manner going up and down, left and right, depending on the design, to get a continuous motion only with permanent magnets. So this is image over here, this is the Kinski Z. So let's now see uh, this motor in, uh, in, in the drawings, in the detailed explanation. And what I can all also say is that it's very similar, or almost the same, as the John Catcher Seal reciprocating device, which you can check on this image over here. So. You can check this one and this one in whichever order you want to, but you will see that they look like look like similar and they work very similar. So not to waste time, let's get now to the drawings and see how this is supposed to work. Okay viewers, so this is the device. It looks really really simple if you ask me. It's based on it is almost the same as the John Catcher Seat magnetic motor or rotary to reciprocating device. So basically the same setup. But there are some other materials here used, and um, yeah, description is a little bit different, yeah, from from that setup. So let's see. So this is uh, uh, exact um, exact name of this device is the rotary to reciprocating device, and why is that? That is why because we are having uh, this rotor on the bottom, and we have this uh, crank crankshaft with the cylinders. If I select that, which will go up and down and that means that we will uh, we will this rotary motion we will transfer to reciprocating motion so that's why it's called rotary to reciprocating and reciprocating is moving of this crankshaft yeah? up and down yeah? so that's the reciprocating motion and this is the motor this in the middle uh, of the housing there is this motor which uh, rotates the yeah this disc with the permanent magnets on the which are mounted on the bottom yeah? so and of course only now if you deselect this now we have the housings bottom and top housing and these screws which hold this housing into the place and into this hole fits the motor right it's not fully uh, this is the motor here and this is the holes for the cylinders that they can go up and down yeah and that's it yeah? now if i deselect if i add if I just select uh, the cylinders and the magnets yeah, and maybe uh, yeah, that's it we have left now the motor and then this device so that's it that's the whole setup <laughs> so so simple in the end yeah so and how and why should this work yeah so why would this ever work uh, there are few uh, explanations for that but let's let's start from the magnets. So these magnets, uh, which are here, and on this uh, uh, bottom, uh, let's say disc, are from the stronti strontium ferrit alloy. Yeah? So this is the very strong, strong. Uh, these magnets create really, really high repulsion force. So so you can see this will be the, the same. The like poles will repel each other. And these stront strontium ferrit magnets have five. 500 times uh, uh, stronger force. Yeah, you can read the patent for me not to say it wrong. What's his all? Uh, what is here all about? But basically, that's it. And this is how what, what we do here. Yeah? Now we we have. If I move this maybe to the X-ray for a moment, you will be able to see see through. Okay, you will see that this motor will spin. This will be strontium ferrite magnets, which will repel uh, these magnets on the. Uh, crankshaft yeah, on these pistons. Yeah? Yeah, basically, these pistons uh, will go up and down, and because uh, this housing is from the let's say non magnetic material, it will not go through these materials that this can stop in some way because it cannot in any way, it's, it's uh, like poles are facing each other when these holes come through, and then uh, of course, it will repel and be transferred to the rotary motion, yeah? to the reciprocating motion on this uh, main crankshaft. 
uh, what he uh, mentions all, also in patent is that uh, only one pound of uh, force is needed to spin these permanent magnets on the circle where 500 pounds of force will be created on these pistons when this uh, when these uh, magnets will face each other in on on these positions where are the holes and that is uh, how it explained that we will have many many times higher output force on this output crankshaft than the uh, energy needed we, we to to rotate this uh, bottom uh, disc with the permanent magnets and this is why it's called magnetic motor it should give an over unity in this setup because if it's really that true that one pound is necessary to rotate this bottom disc and with this setup that we can get here 500 pounds of uh, force on these uh, cylinders yeah that should be a really really good and amazing over unity device or magnetic motor yeah? because it's a passive motor no electrical parts except this motor in the middle which is used to rotate this bottom uh, disc. Okay, so that's basically it. All right, viewers, so that was the Kinski Z rotary to reciprocating devices. You, you can see that they have some crankshaft on the top of the system and they have the rotary, they have the disc with the permanent magnets of strontium ferrite, which is a strong, has strong repulsion force and that this is all mounted in some kind of magnetic shielding material not to lose any opposing magnetic fields that they interfere with the system. And yeah, this really does have sense to work and I should check and maybe we can Google about this strontium ferrite material, how strong really this force is of the repulsion, but it's stated in the, uh, in the patent that uh, only one pound of uh, force is needed to rotate this uh, uh, disc with permanent magnets and the 500 pounds of force is created when this magnet repel, repel each other one from the other. And that is transferred into the reciprocating motion and in the circular motion the crankshaft which can be then used on the generator to create free energy or electricity. That's basically it. Until next video, stay tuned on my channel. Bye-bye.